Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a recreation of JLo's makeup look at the Golden Globes this year. I loved the smoky eye and like the bronzy look that she has to her skin. So without further ado, let's get straight to it. So first things first, we're going to start off with the skin. So I'm going to go in with my Goody Co Dream Serum and then I'm just going to smear it all over the face. This can be used as just like an actual day serum. You don't have to use it as like a primer or anything. But it says these drops can also be used as like a primer or like before makeup. Like used with makeup. So I also like to mix in with my foundation um, to create a really glowy base. A really glowy skin texture. Plus it really just hydrates the skin. They feel so good. So if you guys watch the Golden Globes, let me know who your favourite celebrity makeup look was. I loved JLo but let me know whose yours was. Whose yours was. <laughs> whose... Who, how would you even phrase that? So after I've primed the skin I'm going to go in with my foundation. So usually I am matte but I want to have a glowy base just because JLo was quite glowy and bronzy and things like that so I want to kind of recreate that with this look today. And she had quite a flawless coverage to her skin so I'm going to take my perfecting liquid foundation from Airbon and I'm going to mix this actually with some of those Goody Co Dream Serum drops to like I said to make a really glowy foundation base and I'm just going in with my beauty sponge to blend it through so I'm only applying really one layer of that foundation over my skin. JLo does have quite a full coverage look but once we apply concealer and everything like that, powder, all that good stuff, it's going to create a more full coverage look anyway. So next I'm going to take my concealer. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Creamy Beige. I need something a little bit lighter than my natural skin tone just because in the photos JLo has quite a highlight like a highlighted look to her skin. So I want to kind of try and highlight the center of the face as well as conceal. And I'm just going to hit any spots that need a bit of extra coverage as well. And highlight right under that cheekbone area just to really define those cheekbones. And then just blending it all out. Sorry if the camera is a little bit bright. I'm still working out the kinks. <laughs> Still seeing what works and what doesn't. And then once I've blended everything in, I'll go in and just kind of pat out the contour on my nose and under the cheekbones. And then I'm just going to quickly set just anywhere where I place that concealer down with some of this yellow kind of banana powder shade from the NYX Contour and Highlight Kit on a dry beauty sponge. I'm just like pressing that into the skin. And I like to kind of press the powder over my pore areas because it kind of settles the like settles in them and kind of blurs them in a way so they look like more airbrushed rather than obvious plus using this yellow shade is going to highlight the skin as well it's going to bring a bit more light to those areas so to bronze my skin i'm first of all going in with a cream bronzer this is my hula quickie contour stick from benefit and i'm just placing this on the perimeters of my face where I get the sun naturally kind of hitting and again just blending it out with my beauty sponge then next I'm going to bronze the complexion with my NYX contour and highlight kit again but taking these warm brown tones um, I'm going to start applying that to the perimeters of the skin where we place that cream bronzer down so once I've got a bit of warmth and colour to the skin, I'm going to actually give that bronzy glow that JLo has, like that JLo glow. Mm, so gorgeous. So I'm going to take my Wild and Radiant Illuminating Bronze Palette from BH Cosmetics. Just kind of dipping into these three shades. I'm going to apply that to where we place the bronzer down. Just on the kind of perimeters like the forehead area and cheeks. Just for that kind of wet, dewy look to the skin and I actually might just brush it on the top of my nose just for a little something something yummy so I'm just going to quickly do my brows off camera I'm just going to do them like I've done them in many other tutorials I'll leave it linked down below and in the cards if you would like to see my brow routine otherwise I'm just going to whiz through it quickly and I'll be right back 
welcome back so i know brows are very like personal so really your brow routine is up to you if you want to recreate kind of jlo's look she had uh quite a soft natural brow going on they definitely use like a brow pencil i prefer using a brow powder but it is up to you what you guys want to do for your brows so i think i might move on to the eyes and i'll continue with the skin at the end to really get that glow those juices flowing so i've got like a few little inspo pics here that i'm like recreating her look off it's quite a smoky look she looks like she has a bit of silver on her eye so i'm going to be starting off with the transition color through the crease so taking a fluffy zoeva 221 soft crease brush and the shade silk cream i'm going to place that through my crease as a transition shade and I'm just blowing it out a little bit on the outer corner to elongate the eye because that's how JLo smoky eye is kind of going it's more of a cat eye rather than like rounded so I'm going to smoke it out a little bit toward the tail of the brow this doesn't have to be a crazy step, just something soft to let the other colours blend into, like something, so it's a nice soft transition into the brow bone. Just like that. Next I'm going to take the shades Buns and a touch of Jacks. I'm going to place that through my crease to deepen it up. And I'm taking this on as a waver soft definer brush. Just through the outer crease. And I'm just keeping it focused on this outer V area, so I'm not bringing it all the way in. Just about mm, two thirds across, maybe. I'm just going back in with that transition shade on that soft definer. I'm just softening the edges. Next, dipping into Mocha and Chip on a precise shader brush from Zoeva. I'm going to place this again on my outer V area. Keeping it quite focused in the crease, I don't want to blow it up too high where it can look like you've been punched in the face. So try to, just trying to keep it nice and snug here in the crease area. If you've watched me for a while, you know I always like to go back in with the previous shades, so some of Chip and Buns. And again, taking the transition shade to further soften those edges. So for the lid colour, like that silvery, like taupey shade, I'm going to initially take this WA uh, colour from my Perth Travel Palette from Faux Color, and even just dab some of that on my inner corners just because JLo has that popping like inner corner and then over top I'm going to take the shade Hustle which is a gorgeous like shimmery taupe shade mm. Yes, that's so pretty. And just placing that over top to kind of dull down that like intense silver or shimmer. This looks more like the colour she had on her lid. Wow, I actually don't think I've used this shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette before, but damn, it's so beautiful. I love it. I'm next going to take the shade 24-7 from the palette, which is like a bronzy brown shimmer and I'm going to place that over top of the outer corner browns just because in the photos of her on the red carpet she's got quite a shimmery eye like the whole kind of lid area is basically just shimmer so I'm going to place that over top just to get that glow that JLo glow just all over and I'm just going back in with that taupey shade to just blend it into the brown a bit and then for my brow bone, I'm going to take some of that WA shade again on a pencil brush and just highlight the high points of the brow. Mm. Mm. Such a gorgeous like look. I'm obsessed with that colour here, that taupey shade. It's my new discovery of the palette and I'm obsessed with it. So for JLo's waterline, it actually like looks like she's got a nude like along her waterline but quite a defined lash line area so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to go in with my models prefer nude eye coal and just run that along my bottom waterline and then for her bottom lash line it actually comes in and dips down along that tear duct area so I'm going to initially take those deepest brown shades that we used on our outer corner mocha and chip is what they were called and I'm actually just running that along 
my bottom lash line area quite tightly against that lash line and then as I get to this tear duct area here I'm going to follow that natural dip and just kind of bring it down a little bit to really open up that inner corner area just as I get to the end of those bottom lashes is when I start to bring it down a little bit just a little bit like that and then I'm going to buff out this line so it's a little bit smokier and less harsh with some of the shade Buns and Silk Cream. Making sure to always connect it up to that outer corner so that you don't have that sexy gap going on. <laughs> Nobody wants that. And I'm really only just buffing out up to here. I'm not really buffing out that line on the inner corner. I still want to keep that quite defined. So I'm looking a little crazy at the moment just because I've got any mascara or lashes on. So she has quite like full wispy lashes. So I'm going to, first of all, apply mascara. I'm going in with my Maybelline Colossal Mascara. I'm just applying that to my top and bottom lashes. So for lashes, I think I might take these House of Lashes Temptress Wispies. Just because they are quite like soft and full very wispy as well which is what i was kind of going for so to continue with the skin before we move on with the lips which i'm really excited about is i'm going to apply a couple of different highlights to get that really bronzy glow and like dewiness to the skin so i know we already applied that baked bronzer already um, from bh cosmetics but i want to take some of this molten gold uh highlight it's the master chrome highlight from maybelline and just on a little cheek brush i'm going to just kind of lightly dust that on for an extra glow and because it is that goldeny shade it's just perfect to go over the bronzer and i do emphasize lightly you don't want to have something too like crazy too highlighty skin i'm just lightly dusting each product on so it's kind of like a layering effect lastly but not leastly leastly Leastly. I'm going to take my Faux Color Highlighting Palette and I'm just going to dust that on the very high point of the cheek just so you catch that light. So just to the high point of that cheekbone. Ooh, damn, that looks pretty. I like it because it's not a glittery highlight. It's quite like a glow, a glowy highlight. And then with whatever's left, left I'm just going to dust on the cheeks. Hit that tip of the nose. Ooh, dang, that's pretty. And Cupid's bow. So to finish off the skin, I'm going to go in with my Ride or Die, my Urban Decay or Nida Setting Spray. Oh, that feels so good. And I think this one is the best in terms of like long lasting and keeping that dewiness to the skin. That's what I find anyway, just with the ones that I've used so far. So for the lips today, I'm first of all going to line my lips with a nude lip liner. This is from Rimmel in the shade 049 Natural. And then what I'm going to do is take my Burt's Bees lipstick in the shade 500 Nile Nude. And then to finish off, I'm going to take my Dose of Colours lip gloss in the shade Undressed. Just lightly applying that. So this, guys, concludes today's JLo Recreated Makeup Look from the Golden Globes. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give a big thumbs up before you leave and subscribe down below to my channel to stay updated with all my latest videos and tutorials. If you have any requests for any other celebrity makeup looks from the Golden Globes or just any other event that you would like me to recreate for you, please let me know down below in the comment section as well as any other requests that you have for upcoming videos. Otherwise, guys, have an awesome day. I love you all so much and I'll see you very soon. Bye. Appreciate it, my daughter.